The next station is Morgate. Change here for Perth, Hammersmith and City and Metropolitan Line and National Rail Services. The Northern Line closure. 15th of January to the middle of May 2022, literally last year. It's mad how fast this year's gone. We're already in December and it's two weeks now from Christmas, I believe. It's, time is going fast. Wow. Probably in the next minute I'll be six years old. This is the design leaflet that TFL made for passengers to be informed on everything they need to know about the Northern Line closure that happened last year, no longer in process. My dad to do the closure was to upgrade Bank Station, which looks incredibly beautiful. If you're planning to visit London this weekend, check out Bank Station first. You're going to love it. This leaflet can be used as a book, just like this, what I'm doing now, or you can open it up to make it look more like a poster. Here you have the tube map with the northern line, close the line with the black and yellow. I'm going to put this closer to the camera so you can clearly see. I don't know where I can see it right now, but it's somewhere. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Useful information for passengers, including fighter times to travel. And it gives you what's going to happen on the trains, temporary bus route service that starts from Morgate Finsbury Square to Oval Station uh, which is no longer existing but it would have been a perfect bus service if they made it permanent. It would have been great. Hashtag bring back the 733. By choosing public transport you're making a good choice for you and a more sustainable choice for London. And that's sweet. I feel like that's said by the mayor but It'd be nice if they put someone's name, I mean the person who said this right here, which the one I just read out. Is this the video? Us cheap nerds, we love history. We admire history. We appreciate history. History is great. Cheap and travel history is great. I mean, we still remember the Metropolitan Railway, but I wasn't there to see it in person, unfortunately. But... This, those who have been in these times, it makes us go back to a time where it happened, even though it's not happening in reality, but it's happening in our minds. Um, I don't think it's taken me back to a time when it's not happening in person, but it's in my mind when the normal line closed down, but maybe I think it took me back a bit too much. Uh, I'm wearing a hat. Um, am I going back to the 19th century? Or is it the 20th century when they start wearing suits? Okay, I put my hands on the leaflet that is closer to the time we are currently in right now, December 2023. Hopefully, it has changed the way I look and put me back to how I looked earlier in this video before I ended up in a suit. Right. This is the leaflet I, uh, you, oh, wait, what? I, I look like I just came back from high school and I'm not even American, dude. Now we're going to look into this Northern Line extension leaflet. Battersea Power Station and Nine Elm Station are. I'm delighted Battersea Power Station and Nine Elms Station on the new Northern Line extension are now open. This is the first major tube extension this century. 
and it couldn't have come at a better time to help kickstart our economy. The extension makes it a real difference to transport links south of the river and the regeneration of the area has already supported thousands of new jobs and homes. Quotes by Sadiq Khan, Mayor of London. Nine Elm Station and Battersea Power Station, 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 are accessible with only going from street to train and train to street. They do have a turn up and go service. Both Battersea Power Station and Nine Elm Station are in Zone 1, meaning you can travel from £2.50 off peak. Walking and cycling is another great way to discover new places. To find the cycleways and walking routes in your area, search TFL Cycleways. Also, search TFL Cycle Parking to view our on-street cycle parking map. It's got nearby docking station um, for bikes and uh, the walking and cycling routes, but it doesn't mention the nearby stations. I like the fact that they say encourage people to do more walking and cycling. It's it's good to walk and cycle. It's good for your physical and mental health. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to apply. Suck on a pole and follow me on If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big fat like. Uh, but if you hate the video, you know. Dislikes there. Let me know who hated it, who loves it, or liked it. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I'll catch you soon. Bye bye. Have I changed outfits? What leaflet did I touch to make me look like a Dude from 3022. I look kind of cool. Hey. All right. Goodbye, guys. Upon arrival, the first set of doors will not open. Customers in the first carriage, please move towards the rear door to leave the train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. This station is Moorgate. Change here for Circle, Hammersmith and City and Metropolitan Lines and National Rail Services. This is a Northern Line train terminating at Morden. The next station is Bank. Change here for Central, Circle, District, Waterloo and City Lines, and Docklands Light Railway. Northern Line train terminating at Morgan.